Welcome to From Center Eyes, the podcast. This is Courtney. I'm Jacqueline. How many weeks did we take off? Like two. Was it? I think. Something like that? Maybe two and a half. I don't remember when we <laughs> released our last episode. <laughs> Neither do I. <laughs> Oops. Whoopsies. We uh, keep doing this. <laughs> we do, but there hasn't really been anything exciting happening. No, I mean, the Blackhawks fired What's-His-Face. Oh, McDonough. Yeah, that guy. That's right. That did happen, didn't it? <laughs> yeah. I that forgot like about that already. Three weeks ago. <laughs> yeah, so John McDonough's gone. That was a thing that happened. Out of nowhere. Yeah, that was really shocking. Uh, yeah. Because cause what's his face? I'm not good with uh, names at the moment. Was it Rocky that said he was, everybody was safe? Yeah. When all this started? I believe so, yeah. And then Rocky fired him. <laughs> and then Rocky fired him. Never trust anybody. <laughs> no. Nope. No job is ever safe in hockey. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that was a thing. And then today I woke up to the wonderful news that the rest of the American Hockey League season is canceled. Thought it coming still hurts. Yeah. So I'm sitting over here this whole time, like, they need to just call the season. This is, <laughs> blah, blah, blah. they're not coming back. Just call it and end it so we can move on with our lives. And then I wake up this morning to the news and I was just like, no. Same though. <laughs> Absolute same. Uh, it sounded good in theory, but now that it's real, I'm like, I, just, I don't want this. I miss them so much, and now it's going to be I don't know how long, and I don't know what our team's yeah. going to look like, and I didn't get to say goodbye. Yeah, because we already had two guys that left and went back to... Sweden, didn't they both? I think so. So Anton Vadin and Jacob Nielsen both left us. Yeah. I was more surprised about Nielsen leaving. Right, he was doing really well here. Yeah, and I mean, it was Anton's first year, and he was injured most of the season, so that didn't really surprise me. But then but I, Nielsen it's just... So many, it's so many sad, though, because I was a fan of him when he was playing. I yeah. think he has a lot of potential. He sure seemed like he did. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't... I didn't expect anybody to be leaving this soon, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. I'm sure they saw the writing on the wall that the season would be canceled, but... Right. Were either of them ever called up to the NHL? Uh, Jacob was, I believe, once. Hmm. But I don't believe Vadin was. He did play a few preseason games. I don't know if he... I can't remember if he got any games in at the beginning of the season before being sent down. I can't recall. Me either. Everything feels so long ago and far away. I know. It does. So, yeah, those two left. And then I was looking at the other free agents that we had on the Ice Hogs roster. Mm -hmm. At least the ones that had NHL contracts. Because for some reason, it's damn near impossible to find the players that just have... AHL contracts and what they look like, but whatever. So <laughs> the other free agents are Alexander Forten, Joseph Cramarosa, Yoni Tulala, Ian McCashin, and TJ Brennan. What are they doing? They're free agents. Oh, I knew that. Yeah. Oh, and you might hear some weird noises in the background because I'm at my mom's and there's newborn puppies eight of them <laughs> and they they sound like actual babies when they're awake really weird yeah and also there's renovations going on upstairs so mm. you hear construction sounds i know i'm hear. working so you might hear me typing and you oh, know there's just a lot going on so much going on <laughs> <laughs> i haven't slept in like four days i'm trying my best here oh goodness so they would cancel it today and make us record when you're running on no sleep. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, typical. T- 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 typical happy. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying so hard. Typical hockey fashion. 
is what yes. I was trying to say. Yep, that's definitely not what came out the first time. No, not at all. <laughs> not really sure what came out the first time, but it wasn't that. <laughs> There's no telling. Yeah, so we have, aside from the two guys that already left us, five free agents. I mean, maybe there's more that are just on American League deals that I couldn't find. I was trying to Google them, but I don't know. Hmm. Yeah. So, I mean, out of the ones listed there, I would only really be upset if Yoni and Makashin left. I, you, do you know how sad I will be if Yoni leaves? That would be so upsetting. He was. I love Yoni with all of my heart now. Yeah, he was our best defender this season. Nobody gets past Yoni. Nobody gets past Yoni. And Makashin was a very good addition in that trade with Florida for Sorella that we had for like two months. <laughs> and he got traded. Yeah, but like he he was great, not only on the ice, but also you could tell he was just like a leader. Yeah. And really respected he seemed like a strong, steady presence. Yeah, like a daddy. Of yes, time, exactly. If you, if you will. <laughs> <laughs> but if TJ Brennan left, it'd be like, whatever, because we were very whatever about him coming in at the trade deadline. I feel nothing about this man. <laughs> Seriously. It would kind of suck if Cramarosa left just because he had that bite to him. Yeah, I, I like him, but yeah. I'm not like head over heels like I right. like Yoni. Like it would suck, but I wouldn't cry about it. Precisely. If he left. Yep, yep, yep. Um, and then the last one is Alexander Forten. And it would kind of suck to not be able to yell about him being all speed and nothing else anymore. <laughs> like. <laughs> want him to be better me too he has i don't know it's like he has the tools he just can't put them together uh, that explains it exactly yes I like if he could right. actually score on all of the breakaways that he gets <laughs> but he's so fast and then he just gets down there and does nothing <laughs> nothing happens nothing. all speed nothing, nothing else, else. <laughs> But I miss yelling about him. I miss everything about this. No, I miss being so mad about this <laughs> stupid team. <sighs> so frustrating. Yes. But we will never know if we would have made the playoffs this year. Mm. And we will forever be tied with point tied in points with Chicago but out of a playoff spot for the 2019-20 season <laughs> and that just uh, that's a dagger in the heart is what it is it is but also did you see uh the wolves and the hogs going back and forth on twitter about who won the lottery cup this year <laughs> <laughs> no i didn't <laughs> they were arguing about it was that today? Yes, it was. <laughs> it came along with the announcement of the AHL being canceled, and they were like, well, I don't remember exactly what they said. <laughs> Let me see if I can find this. <laughs> so after it was canceled, the Ice Hogs tweeted, with the season coming to a close, we are Illinois Lottery Cup champions. With six wins to three or 13 points to seven, we captured the cup over Chicago Wolves for the first time since the 2015-16 season. Mm -hmm. um, and then Chicago quote tweeted that and said, whoa, whoa, whoa. We heard the champion is whichever team won our last matchup of the year. And Dylan Coughlin called the game. We might have to take this to the Illinois Lottery Control Board for a ruling. <laughs> and then the Ice Hogs tweeted back and said, you guys are changing the rules again? Sounds about right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Let me see if Chicago replied, because the Hogs didn't reply after that. No, they didn't. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's really funny. 
<laughs> I'm glad you looked it up because I'm on my phone for this call and I'm on my work computer, so I can't get on Twitter. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh. But the Ice Hogs definitely won the Illinois Lottery Cup. Thank you. But yeah, obviously. Duh. Yes, we doubled their wins against us. So. So. Not even a contest. No, no, no. But it doesn't really matter because we will forever be tied in points and still out of a playoff spot. And that's just something I can never reconcile in my brain. <laughs> no. That's just not okay. It's not. And Milwaukee will never have the chance to fight for the cup this season, even though they were dominating everybody. I and I feel like there is just I such... refuse to feel bad for them. <laughs> Me too. It's just such sweet justice for how much they were bullying the league and they mm -hmm. kicked us out of the playoffs last season. Well, they kicked us out of playoff contention last season when we lost, what was it, three or four in a row to them? Something like that, yeah. And they beat us almost every matchup this year. <laughs> we did beat them. They beat everybody this year. <laughs> yeah. So I just think it's beautiful that their season was cut short. That they don't get to win the cup. It's amazing. <laughs> oh, so beautiful. But San Antonio is losing a team entirely. That might feel horrible for it. Yes. And Chicago Ch is losing their roster. Right. The Chargers might be losing their roster if they switch to being affiliated with the Wolves. Mm -hmm. And Springfield is losing their roster if they become... No, they are becoming affiliated with yeah. the Blues. So there's there's a lot of switcheroos coming up mm -hmm. for American League fans. Thankfully, we are not one of them. I mean, mm -hmm. our roster will look a bit different, but not getting an entire overhaul. Right. Thankfully. <laughs> we still have the same affiliation. Yes. You get to keep the guys that are still on contract. Yes. I wonder what our goalies are going to look like. Ugh. Because they're all signed now. Well, the three that we had in Rockford are signed. Mm -hmm. The two guys in Chicago still aren't signed. And we signed another one, too, didn't we? Yeah, free agent out of college. Right, and he had, like, super impressive numbers. Yes. But so he's probably going to be in the ACHL. That's my guess, at least. Unless he comes into training camp and just, like, wows everybody. Well, that's, that's always a possibility. Yeah. Probably Especially, not going to happen, but it's possible. Right, because Chicago still needs to figure out their goalie situation. <laughs> yeah, but their season technically isn't over yet. Yeah, it's not canceled right. yet. I'm kind of surprised the AHL canceled before the NHL did. Well, I guess it makes sense when you think about it financially. Like, they can't afford to... It does play all these games they they yeah. rely a lot more on ticket sales than the that's, NHL. True. that's true it's a broke league true it's just very interesting since some guys are like on nhl contracts and some aren't so like will their contracts burn a year or do they not i mean i feel like they would have to because they played the majority of the season yeah i agree i don't know i feel like some rules are gonna have to be either elaborated on further than they were before or bent or twisted or they're probably just gonna do things and not explain them because it's the nhl that would be hockey for you nothing actually makes sense with yeah. anything that they do <laughs> <laughs> And we just yeah. accept it. Yeah. I'm just glad that we had, like, all of the season ticket holder parties already. Yeah, except for the banquet. Right. Right. That was the Monday after everything got canceled. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. That I like that. So right. I'm, I'm glad most of them happened. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got, our, we got our full season party. Yeah. So that's good, at least. Yeah. So we got to see most of the guys one last time. Even, ah! though, we didn't know it was, even though we didn't know it would be one last time. We didn't know. We didn't know. 
but we got to talk with them and take pictures if we wanted and get whatever we wanted signed. My daughter's, my daughter's At least we got the Delia bobblehead. Yeah. yeah. I do <laughs> can hear your mom <laughs> talking in the background. Yeah, uh, she's on a training thing for work too. Gotcha. I do love my Delia bobblehead. He just sits on my kitchen table and stares at me while I'm working. That's beautiful. Yeah. Man, so now it's officially the off season. Officially, but kind of not because the NHL still isn't canceled, but the AHL is. Oh man. So is it the off season or is it not the off season? It's the off season for us. Yeah, but also sort of not because sometimes we sign guys with like NHL deals that we know will be in Rockford or they get traded or I mean you're not wrong. They really just need to open up like a special signing period or something but then that wouldn't work because if the NHL comes back and they have the playoffs then you couldn't have guys just like going back to their old team or (sighs) just imagine how much chaos could be happening if they would just call the NHL season and teams were allowed to sign people or trade people do whatever they want that's what I wish would happen yeah we could have mass chaos but instead they were thinking of doing like a draft in early June except instead of the normal time and I still don't understand why they're trying to do that. No, I don't see how that helps. Came, like the season came back so they could start the season later in June or July and not have it interact with the draft. I, I don't know. I hate everything that they're proposing. Me too. <laughs> I just I don't think any of it is a good idea. No. Just call the season, have the draft on its normal weekend. And try to start next season as on time as possible. That's what I've been saying this whole time. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's Hold on. It's my alarm. Four o'clock alarm. Sorry. Ah! Ah! It sounded like the world was ending. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't know. The NHL is going to do what the NHL does. Typically. I feel like whatever they decide, if it's not just ending the season is going to be really dumb and a lot of people are going to have gripes Mm -hmm. especially like the 24 team playoff they were um proposing where there'd be like like, yeah like a three game play in or i don't know I haven't even been reading them. I mean, I should so we can talk about them, but they just all seem so stupid and far-fetched. And, like, I'll just catch up with it when they actually tell me what's going to happen. Mm-hmm. Wow. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I just... They better not mess with the draft because that's supposed to be our season reset. For the yeah, it's supposed to be season two, when season two begins, because we started this thing on draft night. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's us. In the middle of the summer. <laughs> uh, so yeah, it's the off season. We now transition to off season mode. So we will look forward to more lists to read and scream about. <laughs> like we did last off season. Hey guys, Courtney here. Instead of having a very abrupt and awkward cutoff to the podcast, I thought I would just quickly record this outro. We covered most of the stuff we wanted to hit in what you heard already, but then it just started getting incredibly loud and the audio was a little distorted, so I cut out the end. But basically what we said is we are going to try to think of some fun topics to talk about now that the season has officially been cancelled and we are hoping to come back and record next week, although we know we have been taking off a lot of time in between recording since we haven't had anything to really talk about, but now that we can officially transition into off-season mode, we will get better about recording and thinking about things that we can do. So with that being said, we will see y'all here next week, and until then, we can continue crying about the 2019-2020 AHL season officially being cancelled, but you cannot prove to me that the Ice Hogs did not win the 2020 Calder Cup, so the Ice Hogs are 
2020 Calder Cup champions. Good night.